now discuss our third and final example for this topic, equations with homogeneous coefficient. Now our third example is exercise 21 of page 31. And we are asked to find a general solution of the differential equation quantity 3x squared minus 2xy plus 3y squared dx is equal to 4xy dy. Now, as you can see, this is m dx and this is n dy. And m term is homogeneous to second degree. And uh, n term is second degree. So as an equation, this is homogeneous differential equation to the second degree. Okay. Substituting y equal to bx. Now you can also substitute x equal to by you can also do that now for this presentation we will use y equal to bx and we'll have dy equal to bdx plus x dv substituting y and dy to the equation will give us uh, this next step okay as you can see the x term is common so you have x squared x squared x squared and you have x squared here so if you divide the entire equation by x then x squared will be eliminated will be cancelled so what remains is 3 minus 2b plus 3b squared dx and you have 4b times quantity b dx plus x dv so what we do next is we uh, transpose uh, rather uh, we distributed 4, 4 v v dx and combined it with the dx term here so since 4 v squared and we transpose 3b squared dx to the right side will give us 4b squared dx minus 3b squared dx will give us b squared dx. So only 1b squared will remain. Then you will have minus 2b dx transpose to the right side will give us positive 2b dx. Then positive 3 dx will give us negative 3 dx when transposed to the right side. And we will just copy a 4 vx dv when we distribute that with uh, x dx. Okay. Now, uh, looking at the equation, we can uh, separate the variables and rearranging, writing the right side into the left side. And the left side into the right side will give us dx over x plus 4v all over v squared plus 2v minus 3dv. Now the first term is okay. Second term, however, suggests reduction to partial fraction. So we will evaluate this separately. Now based on our denominator, which is factorable by v plus 3 and v minus 1 which are linear factors then the possible sum of fractions will be a over v plus 3 and b over t minus 1 where a and b will be determined later now dividing the equation by the product of v plus 3 and v minus 1 will give us 4v equals a times quantity b minus 1 plus b quantity b plus 3. First, we solve for the value of coefficient a. So in order to eliminate b, we will let uh, the variable v equal to negative 3 so that v plus 3 will be 0. So as we substitute v equal to negative 3, then 4v will be negative 12 and v minus 1 will be negative 4 times a and this will be 0 
therefore a is equal to positive 3. Now next, if we solve for the coefficient b, we will eliminate a by letting v equal to 1. So as we substitute v equal to 1 to this equation, then 4v will become 4 and av minus 1 will be 0 and v plus 3 will be 4b which give us b equal to 1. So we now, we now have solved the coefficients uh, a and b. So the resulting fractions of this uh, fraction is 3 over v plus 3 plus 1 over v minus 1. So if we write this as an equation together with dx over x will give us this equation wherein all of the terms are leading to logarithm. So you have ln of x plus 3 ln of b plus 3 plus ln of b minus 1 equal to c. Properties of logarithm, uh, we will make 3 the exponent of b plus 3. Just copy the first and the third term equal to c. Then properties of logarithm, since all positive becomes the product of the three terms. If we eliminate ln, get the anti-log, ln is removed and we have e to the c on the right side. But since e to the c is still equal to c, then we can simplify our equation. Then substituting back our original variables x and y, v is y over x, v is y over x. So this is our uh, next equation. We simplify, so you have uh, x times quantity y plus 3x over x quantity q times quantity y minus x all over x is equal to c. Now x cube and you have x is cancelled with x. So what remains is you have y minus x. You no longer have over x because it is already cancelled with the product x here. And uh, raising both numerator and denominator by 3, so you will give us y plus 3x quantity cube over x cube. Eliminating x cube by multiplying the entire equation by x cube will give us y plus 3x quantity cube times quantity y minus x is equal to cx cube. So that is the general solution and final answer on our uh, third and final example. So hopefully you, you have already gained some insight, knowledge on how to solve this type of differential equation as what we have done on our first type of differential equation which is the uh, separation of variables. The next coming videos will be all about exact differential equations okay so thank you very much and good day